Now the channel has been doing really well lately, on fire, a lot of views, a lot of exposure, and I want to thank you, the audience, for tuning in for each and every video. Well, the train continues here, full steam ahead, as we have a bunch of Samsung Galaxy Book 4 laptops coming to the studio this week. I already got one here today, we just got it. We're gonna get it unboxed and we're gonna get our first look at it. And I also have the uh, two other ones coming here. I have the Galaxy Book Pro 360, the 16 inch coming tomorrow, and I have the Galaxy Book 4 Ultra coming on Friday. But what I have here today is one I've been anticipating. The Galaxy Book 4 Pro 14 inch laptop that has a number of improvements over the previous iteration, namely the display, which is now a touch display, a dynamic AMOLED 2X display with the variable refresh rate up to 120 Hertz. It has a new processor, the Meteor Lake processor, the Core 7 Ultra 155H, improved graphics and the Intel Arc graphics that we've been seeing. So a big step up over the Iris Xe graphics. A really great display here also, as I mentioned earlier, and it's a less reflective display than before. We got a lot of great new features here in a beautiful design, a beautiful color, in a really sleek and modern ultra portable laptop, a very thin and light laptop at that. We're gonna get our first look at it here today and I'm going to follow it up with a full review coming soon. Hey everybody, it's Andrew and this is the Samsung Galaxy Book 4 Pro 14 inch laptop, brand new for 2024, coming up. Now, before we get to the unboxing, I just want to let everyone know in the interest of transparency and full disclosure, I'm not being paid by Samsung. I'm not being sponsored by Samsung. All the opinions you're about to hear are my own. Samsung is not getting copy approval. They're seeing this video for the first time, just like you. This unit was purchased with my own money. This is not a review unit from Samsung. Now there are two versions of the Samsung Galaxy Book 4 Pro, 14 inch and a 16 inch here for 2024. The 14 inch has the display we're gonna talk about. It's a touch display. The difference between the 14 and the 16, not only is it a bigger screen on the 16, you also get a bigger battery, a 76 watt hour battery versus the 63 watt hour we have here. And hopefully with this Meteor Lake laptop, we'll get a more efficient processor. We'll get better battery life than last year. So hopefully, fingers crossed, we will see those results. Now, as far as pricing is concerned, the 14 inch that we have here today comes in at $1449.99. That nets you the 16 gigabytes of RAM, 512 gigabytes of SSD storage. I'm not crazy about that, but I would like more. But if you bump up to the 16 inch version, you will get a terabyte of storage. That comes in at $1749.99. For those interested, I will leave links in the description below. Now, if you go over to Samsung's website from those links, you can get trade-ins up to $700 in instant credit. So if if you have an old phone, an old laptop, or an old tablet or so lying around, you can get some money back for it. Again, links for everything will be in the description below. So without further ado, let's get this out of the box. Okay, there we have the Galaxy Book 4 Pro. Let's get it off this or out of this outer box. And here we have it. It's the new series here this year for 2024. It's got the Meteor Lake processor and so forth. So that'll be good. All right, let's get this out of the box. Okay, we have the unit itself. Let's see what power charger we get here. This is the power charger. You can see it right here. It's pretty compact. Glad to see that's still in the box. We know with the Samsung Galaxy S24 Ultra that I reviewed that didn't come with one. And then of course we get the unit itself here and it feels pretty good. It's really super thin. Every time I look at one of these devices, I'm just in awe of how thin this is. And then we have the power cord here. It's a USB type C and you can see it here. Uh, there is, it's all in white here. So these two we can plug in. Of course it does support the super fast charging according to that. And then we get some documentation warranty information I'm assuming in here. Let's see. No big whoop. Yeah. So that's exactly what we get in here. So that is pretty standard stuff. And that is absolutely stunning here. Gorgeous. This is the Moonstone Gray and you can see it here. Absolutely gorgeous. Um, I, I, I don't know what to say. I mean, 
I'm loving it already, the color. Wow. It is a grayish color, almost like a hint of blue in it. It's uh, really, really nice. Well, it's sort of hard to, but you got to use the latch here. Yes, if you just slow it down, you definitely can open this with one finger. And that is absolutely gorgeous. Keyboard feels really good here. Let's give it a listen. It's not a haptic touchpad, but it is a mechanical touchpad. You'll notice here it has a fingerprint scanner. That's where the power button is, which doubles as the fingerprint scanner. One thing we saw last year was some screen wobble. Let's see if we have any here. Not much, actually. I think the hinge is pretty improved. Now, this anti-glare coating on this display is looking good so far. And again, I haven't turned it on, but it's right off the bat, it seems a little less reflective than last year, so that's good. Let's get a measurement of the weight before we turn it on. Okay, with just the unit alone, you're looking at 1.233 kilograms, or 2 pounds, 11.5 ounces. Wow, that's pretty light. Now, with the power charger and the power cord, you're looking at three pounds, 1.5 ounces, or, and that of course would be in kilograms, 1.403 all in in total travel weight. Very thin, very light. That's the way we like it here. Okay, let's check out the port selection. On the left side is an HDMI 2.1 port. Now, I think last year it was 2.0, so an improvement there. You also get a USB Type-C Thunderbolt 4 port. There are actually two of them here, and they should be both full function, so we'll test all that in the upcoming review. And then, of course, on this side, you get a micro SD card reader, a USB-A port, and a 3.5 millimeter microphone headphone combo jack. All told, a pretty nice port selection here, so I'm not complaining. You know, micro SD card slot on a 14 inch, I'm not gonna be too upset about it. Of course, I always prefer a full size SD card reader as a content creator. The other nitpick I would have here is both USB-C Thunderbolt full ports are on the same side. Would have been nice to split them up and maybe even give a third one, but I'm not gonna complain all that much here. And here is the keyboard. It is absolutely gorgeous. This is a nice moonstone gray, and I'm really liking it. Now, it has Intel Evo branding. You've got your dynamic AMOLED 2X display sticker there, Energy Star rated, all that yada, yada, yada stuff. Uh, but here it is. Now, one thing I will say, the keyboard has shallow key travel. That's one thing that's a carryover from last year. That has not changed. The other new thing here is you do get a Windows Copilot button, as you can see there. So uh, pretty interesting with the Copilot button right there. So all told, I would say pretty nice changes. Let's get this booted up. Let's see this display in action. Now, to me, the star of the show has to be this 14-inch 2.8K dynamic AMOLED 2X display. It has a variable refresh rate up to 120 hertz. It's now a touchscreen display. That's a change over last year. I like that added feature here. Pinch to zoom, navigating the OS with your finger so far has worked out really well. It's an HDR display. Watching high dynamic range content is superb on this. It's been fantastic. And having a less reflective display than last year certainly makes it more usable for not only consuming media, but also productivity tasks. I anticipate doing Microsoft Office email web browsing on this will be a lot better. Now, I'll test all the measurements and give you all the metrics of this display in the upcoming full review, but so far, so good. That's my takeaway with this display so far. So this is a two megapixel camera, 1080p on the Samsung Galaxy Book 4 Pro 2024 model here, and I gotta say, uh, pretty good in terms of the camera. What do you think about the video quality? What do you think about the audio quality? It also has the AI or studio effects. Remember, this does have an NPU. We'll get more and talk more about this in the upcoming full review. Now, I was curious to see how performance is year over year. I'm gonna, of course, do my full testing in the upcoming full review. So I just ran Geekbench 6 to see what we're dealing with here, and we're seeing a 13.5% increase single core performance. We're seeing a 21% increase multi-core. And when it comes to the graphics, we're seeing about a 73% increase in performance, thanks to the fact that this has the Intel Arc graphics, which are a lot better than the Iris Xe. Of course, I'll do my full testing, bring you all the benchmarks, gaming numbers, as well as the battery numbers and everything else I test in the upcoming full review. I'll also test the sound, upgradability, and everything else I do in my reviews.
So please hit the like button, please subscribe, please share this video. Don't forget to leave a comment in that comment section below. Let me know how I'm doing. Let me know if there's a device or something out there you think I should review. I'll do my best to try to make that happen. Don't forget to follow me on Instagram, Facebook, and X, the platform formerly known as Twitter. Don't forget to check out my website, amdtechreviews.com. So until next time, this is Andrew, and I'll see you in the next video.